Hello Hasbro fans, this is Septus Toys back again with another Star Wars action figure review. This time we're taking a look at the 2012 Discover the Force line and this figure is Mahonic. Take a look at the packings and code one dice. One of those black sands because of the Discover the Force sign. And a character card of Mahonic. Now onto the packaging, the Darth Maul logo of course, then here Mahonic, those 3D glasses that are stuck onto the packaging. Mahonic is number 6 out of 12, and the packaging reads, Mahonic is a pod racer in the Boonta Eve classic pod race. Simple and straight to the point. Um, two accessories are included with this figure. First up, you get this weird sniper rifle, and um, really my only main flaw of the figure is both the accessories to be asked, because I don't like them. Um, you know, this uh, this rifle could have been good, but the strap really ruins it, this strap here, and I don't see why, it, understand why it's included, and if anything, it makes it really hard for the figure to hold, and I Honestly, think it's safer to like leave it out of the figure's hands for this review because it can be quite hard to get on, and quite frustrating to balance it right in the figure's hands. So, very this point, I think it would have worked much better if Hasbro didn't include this lame strap. To be honest with you, um, the other accessory, it's decent enough. The flag, but it, all it's really got go for is detail. I mean. The, this part here, it feels like it's such weak plastic material, whatever you want to call it, that I could just tear it up if I wanted to right now. Well, I don't, but yeah, you know what I mean. But it just feels so weak that it would be easier to tear up. And then the rest of it just feels like a stick, a very long one. So, I don't know. That's just my opinion, but I'm not really a fan of either of the accessories there. Okay. Now, move on to what I do like about this figure, and that's the figure itself. Now, before I go into details and all, um, I've heard fellow collectors say Mahonic is fairly small, the figure is fairly small compared to the character. I can't really comment on that because I don't, haven't seen The Phantom Menace in a while now. I might not even be going to see the 3D release after all for my own reasons um um so i can't really comment on his size but you have to be pretty small to fit in a pod race or do the pod racing so it, the figure is fairly small and i honestly like i said can't comment on whether it's accurate or not maybe you should be a bit taller maybe you should be a bit smaller but i think as far as pod racer figures go he is a fairly decent size Anyway, on to the details of the figure. This figure definitely is really, its main plus point is definitely the details give you a close up on the face there. You've got a lot of great markings and detailings on that. One problem I have with this figure though, which is a major problem really, but these purple bits on um, things on the figure's head they're quite weak and um, they're very easy to, it's very easy for them to fall off as you could see demonstrated because one of them did fall off and I can't find it so one of his things is missing and it's very easy to fall off but it's very hard for it to come back on. I spent like 10 minutes trying to fit it back on where it first came off. Then the second time came off, lost it completely, so, yeah. Monica has three eyes. Um, it's a pretty decent expression, I guess. Um, I like how they design his belly, or whatever you want to sit, call it. Pretty nice, and this figure definitely has a lot of great detail. Anyway, articulation, head, shoulders, elbows, wrists knees and ankles so Mahonic is definitely superbly articulated and he's got some great detail as well I'm going to go ahead and rate Mahonic I'd say 9 out of 10 
It is a fairly decent figure. Like I said, size, I can't really say anything about. Um, the one fl major flaw of this figure has to be the accessories for me. Even if you're a fan of the flag, the sniper rifle, there's nothing to write home about. It's absolutely... It could have been good, like I said, the sniper rifle, but for the strap, which makes it almost impossible for the figure to hold. Anyway, hope you've all enjoyed this review. This is the second Discover the Forest figure I have reviewed now once this is posted. The other was the Gungan Warrior from before. I'm going to get at least a couple more Discover the Forest figures from Wave 1. Probably the Naboo Pilot and the Tuscan Raider. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this review. May the Forest be with you and happy hunting.